Now, it was a derelict seaside Lido in Western Supermare, and local residents thought it was being turned into a film set. But today it was unveiled as a theme park with a twist. Designed by the elusive street artist Banksy, it's called Dismal Land, and it's certainly a far cry from Disneyland, as our arts correspondent David Silito reports. Dismal Land. The name alone was provoking a bit of comment today. It's not Disneyland. No. It really isn't Disneyland. But what is it? Well, after weeks of total secrecy, we were finally being allowed in. It's just explaining. We're in a bemusement park. Bemused already here. Um, this way, I'm guessing. The Magic Castle is derelict, the stewards a study in forced gloominess, and the model village, there's a riot going on. Can you see what's going on here? Yeah, it's yeah. like the riots, like the Tottenham riot. Lights and the signs and kind of the care that must have been taken over it. It's incredible, but what it's trying to show isn't. It's awful. Nine months of working every day on it, so... The model village from hell. It's Bedfordshire, actually. <laughs> the boating lake features migrants crossing the English Channel. Dark, political, subversive. This is the work of the street artist Banksy, the man who set it all up and even got the author Julie Birchall to write The Punch and Judy. It's so amazing and gobsmacking that I, I couldn't speak to my husband for two hours after we were here because I was thinking about it so much. Banksy, of course, was remaining anonymous, but the council is expecting crowds for something that is thought-provoking, darkly comic, and works best in the grey English drizzle. David Silito, BBC News, Western Supermare.